Okay, so question 12 here, we've got an inequalities question. So what we need to do is, well, for inequalities, key points is you need to know the difference between that and that, less than or less than or equal to that and that, okay? And then the other key point you need to think about is you have to know what the word integers means or integer. And we're all talk, always talking about whole numbers there, okay? So write all the down the possible values of n. Well, it has to be a whole number, so it's not allowed to be minus 3. It doesn't have that extra little line. So it could be minus 2, it could be minus 1, it could be 0, and it's allowed to be 1 because it's less than or equal to 1. So less than or equal to, oops, let's uh, correct that, 1. Okay? Now we need to solve this inequality. What I would do is I would go ahead I'd go ahead and solve this equation first. So I'm going to solve this equation by, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. That's what I'm going to do here. Oops, and that's what I did. And in this case, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So... I get the value, the answer p is 6. Okay, but I wasn't solving an equation, I was solving an inequality. So I'm still going to use p, I'm still going to use 6. What I'm going to use instead is just put back whatever symbol was here, the greater than symbol, I'm going to put it back in my answer. Okay?